So, here we go. Today's video um, features this guy, Wessie. Huh? What are you doing? Uh, uh. <laughs> so, we're going to put these uh, Vortex grips on here. Stock ones are fine. There's nothing wrong with them. Um, just kind of want to switch it up, and they're decently grippy. These are the medium compounds, and they are, which you can't really tell, those are extra grippy. So, first, I'm going to take the bar ends off, which is a, what is this, five? Pop these bar ends off. Um, for me, I'm probably just going to cut the grips, because I'm not going to reuse the grips. So, I'll just slice those with a razor. And, uh, Put these new ones on. You will want some. I have some in my old toolbox here. Grip glue. Do you have to use it? No, you don't have to. It's really helpful when you are putting grips on for them to stay and not twist. Stock ones, as you can see, hold on real well. They don't twist. Sometimes when putting uh, aftermarket ones on, obviously they don't have glue these ones i believe do come factor with glue could be wrong but i've seen them come with glue before yeah buddy um and also having some air to put the new ones on shoot some air in the end of it boom makes it slide on way easier what are you doing bud bike bike yeah man <laughs> Five millimeter. Remove the bar in. Oh, my son's wanting about over there. That was really loose. Um, you can put anti-vibration ones in there if you want. These are kind of heavy. What are you doing? Trying to work on my bike over here, buddy. Thank you, buddy. Both bar ends out, simple, quick, easy. Um, fresh razor blade, just gonna cut this one off. I don't have any use for it. If I were to change it, I would just buy some new ones, honestly. They're not that much. Um, you can't tell, probably in the video, these do have glue on them. Very little, from what I can tell. Um, hardly any, actually. Open these new pack here. You will have different sizes as far as like the throttle side is obviously going to be bigger. Um, you can tell, I don't know if you can tell in the video, this side, this hole is actually bigger. That's the throttle side. This is your regular left hand side. Just going to test fit it. Make sure it goes on there. Yep, she looks good. I'm going to put a little glue on it and then may use the air compressor. You may not have to, not 100% sure. Yeah, buddy. What do you got? You got the paper? Um, probably just put the glue on there. It may have enough lubrication just to slide it on there and be good to go. I would check what kind of bars you got. Seems like these are going to be a tad bit longer than the stock ones. What do I do with the stock one? Just a tad bit longer. Which may not matter really i could probably squish it up on there and once you put the bar end on there um on the at least on the uh left hand side it's not really going to matter it's not going to move the right side i'm not sure as far as the throttle turning and the bar end being in the way you may have to trim off the end it is possible i'm not 100 percent yet usually i'm used to running these grips or any aftermarket grips with uh clip-ons that are longer than the stock bars in most cases so we'll see you doing my buddy that's not good for the turd
glues on there you may just go on if you don't have compressed air in some cases you can just kind of push on the end don't grab it and try to twist it because it's not going to go on that well oh my son's trying to take my gopro here <laughs> but uh, i may need to get my compressor out you probably could blow on it with your mouth and slide it on there got the inspector uh, here uh, <laughs> bite. yeah bite bud so I didn't have my compressor ready when I put this on which uh, was almost a mistake but once you get the glue on there it gives a little bit of lubrication to kind of just wiggle 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 it on when I first put it on I pushed it too far I guess you could say and uh, it, like this much of it was showing to the bar and just looks like it was hanging out but I pulled it stretched it back out a little bit so now it just looks normal please don't hit my bike so I pulled it back out a little bit and now she is good glue started drying pretty quick Dada. just make sure you get all the Dada. residue from around the outside as it pushes on so it's gonna leave a little bit Dada. should be good and work on to the uh Mama. doll side Mama. all right doll side is on um be careful if you put glue on these and then you use air which i did here with the two um because it likes to shoot the glue out of the end if you're not uh pretty careful i hit it too hard one time with the with the air and it shot everywhere just make sure you get it on on your bike because it's pretty sticky glue if you're using grip glue but she's on there just make sure the little spacer thing which you'll see what i'm talking about um you can glue it to the throttle itself which you know if it gets glued to the throttle um grip itself it's fine just don't let it gl get glued to the actual housing and stops it from moving you know make sure there's no glue in between those two because that's what kind of keeps the grip away and keeps it from uh the grip actually getting stuck to the housing and your throttle getting stuck and that would not be good the bar end uh who knows where that's at my son well, here's the bar end what the hell my son done with the bolt I'll probably never know, actually. <laughs> All right, I found the other bar end. I had to go in the house and find it in the floor. We took it inside. But here you can see what I was talking about on the other side. Um, you may have to pull the grip out. Just stretch it out a little bit. If you don't want that gap right there and you want it to close all the way. Or it could be running other bar ends. Um, and it won't really matter. Not that really matters for this little bit if it did you could mill off the little um bar and gap right there just to close it in more not that big big of a deal to me but uh they're on there take about five minutes maybe to do it good to go